Okay, so for this test here, this was the first card that we uh, put our CNC manifold on. And it was a bone stock uh, short block for a H22A. Uh, stock ports, stock valve job, stock head gasket. It did have a set of Rocket Motorsports Stage 4 camshafts and the full spring kit as well with titanium retainers and we actually did our initial run with the Euro R manifold and a 70 millimeter throttle body that run uh, the best on that setup did 237 horsepower and 187 foot-pounds that's gonna be in the blue line here and uh, after that the same night we changed out that manifold for our stage X CNC lower and upper it had a 220 racing open face spacer and the same 70 millimeter throttle body. So our best numbers from the new manifold setup was in the red shown here, which is going to be 248 horsepower and just a hair under 196 torque. So when we look at our graph here, you can see that pretty much everywhere it's making gains all the way down we pulled this it looks like all the way down to about 3700 rpm and you can just see right here it starts coming in early 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 the VTEC crossover it still gets a little close but then right in the meat of it at about 55 to 6000 rpm we have about a 20 horsepower gain in the mid-range versus the Euro R manifold and about 18 foot-pounds so you again a lot of people get caught up on the peak numbers they want to see that big peak number when if you want to go fast you really need to have a strong average power band the engine is dynamic and it's going to accelerate throughout the rpm range as you're driving it on the track or if you road race it this extra power in the mid-range is really what's going to get you off the corner so now if we look at the big end of it here you can see the OEM distributor started breaking up some it's you know the ignition just really isn't there and uh, as a result you can see the graph it's really just kinda all up and down the smoothings at about five on this yeah five on this run and even with the distributor you know on its way out we still managed to pick up about 12 horsepower up top and nine foot-pounds and uh, a couple more things for this test we did actually use E85 uh, for both tests and uh, injector sizing was the 900 cc from uh, Jeffrey Danik at Injector Nation that's kind of our go-to injector for just about everything we do here okay guys I think this just about wraps up uh, this dyno breakdown for this video if you are interested in having this done or have some questions you can go ahead and send us a message on Facebook at facebook.com slash bad guys worldwide or if you want to look at some more pictures of the manifold work and some of the other stuff we offer you can go to our website at badguysonline.com or you can follow us on Instagram at bad guys underscore worldwide